Mr. Choose here with Brack Geometry. Let's solve some area problems. So in example one, it says if the area of this rectangle is 48 inches squared, so I can actually write it in here, A equals 48 inches squared, and the width is eight inches. It asks you, what is the length? So, you can say this is the length here. This is the width. You could say this is the width and this is the length. It doesn't really matter when you set that up. So, I don't know what this is. It's this distance here I'm trying to find. So, you have to start out with your formula. And the area of a rectangle is the length times the width. I make my L's like that so that it doesn't look like a 1. And now we use the substitution property of equality, which area is 48 inches squared. I don't know what the length is, but I know what the width is. So I'll put a raised dot one way that you can show multiplication times 8 inches. Now, I need to solve this one-step equation, but before I do, let's rewrite it the way you usually see an equation like this. I'm going to write inches squared as inches times inches so that I can divide and cancel out dimensions. You usually write the number first. So I'm going to use the division property of equality, and I need to get the L by itself, because that's what I want to see what it equals. So I'm going to divide the right by 8 inches, and the left by 8 inches. So 8 over 8 is 1, 1 over 1. Inches over inches is 1 over 1. So I've got L on my right, then 8 is a common factor of 8 one time, and you can divide 48 by 8 and get 6, and the inches over inches is 1. So what do I have left? 6 inches over 1, which is 6 inches. So I'm saying that that is my dimension. So I'm saying that this length and this length is 6 inches, because remember rectangles have two sides that are the same length. These will both be 6 inches, and these will both be 8 inches. So on my check here, I would just substitute in this equation here. So I put my area, and then my length, which is 6 inches, times my width, which is 8 inches, and 48 inches squared equals 48 inches squared. Check. Pretty simple. Example 2 says that if my area of this rectangle is 120 meters squared, and my length is 15 meters, find a width. All right, so we're going to take now and use our formula and substitute. So 120 meters squared equals 15 meters times W. Now remember, I want to get W by itself. So I'm going to do the division property of equality, when I'm solving this one-step equation, I write meters squared as meters times meters. And I divide the right by 15 meters and the left by 15 meters. 15 over 15 is 1. 1 over 1 is 1. Meters over meters is 1. And I've got my W left there. 
So I have W equals my 15 goes into 15 one time and 15 divides into 120 eight times. You can always use a calculator to do this. The meters over meters, that's a common factor that cancels out. And I have eight meters equals the width. So we're saying we believe that this is eight meters. Well, I always want people to check their answers. So how do you check it? Well, in the check, you're gonna write your original formula down. And wherever there's an A, I'm gonna put my 120 meters squared. Put a question mark here. My length, I know is 15 meters, and I believe eight meters is my width. So 120 meters squared equals 15 times eight. Eight times five is 40, carry the four. Eight times one is eight, plus four is 12. And there is my 120 meters times meters is meters squared, so it checks out. So this wasn't too bad but we're just building up to harder problems and I want everyone to have a good foundation. So make sure you show all your work, write down your formulas and check to make sure that your answers are correct. If you need to see more of my videos, subscribe, like this. Here is my YouTube channel you can subscribe to. I'm Mr. Chu. This is Brack Geometry, and I want to help you understand the math. There will be a link up here to, to challenge problems I'm going to give you now. And so let me write these in. This will be challenge problem one. And then we'll have a challenge problem too. So in challenge number one, should be fairly simple now for you. The area is 60 feet squared. The width is five feet. Find the length and there's your formula. So we've got 60 feet squared, the width is 5 feet, so solve for the length and then check it. Okay, we'll put challenge 2 over here. still use this same formula and you'll still check it. So challenge two says that my area is 14.4 inches squared and my length is six inches and wants us to find W. So I'll get this all cleaned up here and it'll be perfect problems for you to work on. So my area is 14.4 inches squared. My length is six inches and my width, I don't know. Use this formula, find the width and then check it. So if you pause it right now and work these two problems, here's my challenge too. You'll be able to look at a link up here after you start the video again, after you try these, see if you did them right. I'll work through each step. And down here will be a link of other Brack Geometry lessons. I'm Mr. Chu and I wanna help you. Watch my videos, subscribe, and we'll do this together.